the parts B, C, and D. Um, so what this is telling us to do is to um, subtract, we can do it two ways. We could subtract G from F. Let me show that. Oops, that should be a plus. Um, so I could subtract these two functions first and then evaluate that at negative 5, or I could plug negative 5 in first and then subtract the results. And I'll get the same answer either way, so I'll just show this one both ways. Uh, plus 6, and then that negative is going to distribute through. Minus that will make a minus 6. So that's going to leave me x squared. 7x minus x would be 6x and then plus 6 minus 6, those cancel. So now this is the result of f minus g, and then if I evaluate that at negative 5 over here, then I get negative 5 squared plus 6 times negative 5, and that is 25 minus 30, or negative 5. So I could do it that way. Um, or I could also just, instead of doing the algebra part, I could just, from right here, let me sneak down here with it, plug in that negative 5 and just work it out. So that would look like this. 7 times negative 5 right there, plus 6 minus negative 5 plus 6. And in terms of this function notation, what I'm doing here this is the so they, they're writing it this way f minus g of negative 5 that means the same thing as f evaluated at negative 5 minus g evaluated at that doesn't look much like a 5 but hopefully you know what I'm saying there that we're just plugging the negative 5 in here and the negative 5 in here and then we're doing the subtraction when I did it this first time I did more I did the algebra first and then I did the evaluate second again it doesn't matter whichever one is easiest um, which on these next two is going to be just straight on plugging it in. Go for that because you're going to get the same answer either way. Um, so let me hop back down here now. So this is more like this where I'm plugging the negative 5 into each function. And then that's going to make a positive 25, a minus 35, and a plus 6. And then that's going to be minus negative 5 plus 6. That would be a 1. So I'm writing those parentheses. Uh, 25 minus 35, so negative 10 plus 6 minus 1, so that's negative 4 and then negative 5. And so if you look, there we go, I got the exact same answer either way. When it's an addition or subtraction, I find it a little bit easier often to do the algebra first, but I think that's because I find evaluating sort of annoying. Um, when I'm doing multiply or divide, it is definitely you just want to plug in the number, so I'll show you a couple examples with that next. So there's a couple ways at it. Let me clear all this mess here. So if I'm doing f times um, g of 3, I'm going to think of that as f of 3 times g of 3. So I'm just going to write out, let me write out what I'm plugging into first, just so you can see it a little bit clearer. Um, so instead of foiling all this mess out, there's absolutely no advantage to doing that because um, all we can do is make a mistake pretty much and then we're going to have to still plug in 3 at the end and it'll be a big mess. So for this one we just want to plug in right now and that's going to be way easier. So we'll just do So there's F evaluated at 3 and then here is G evaluated at 3. And let's see where these come out. So this is going to be 9 plus 21 plus 6 times 3 plus 6 would be 9 and that is 36 times 9, which I don't know 36 times 9 off the top of my head, but let's see. 36 times 9, 324. So I think that's the easiest way to go there. And then for this one, it's the exact same thing, right? You're just going to set them up um, with F on top, G down below, and then do just like I did here, but with that negative two, and then that should work out. Hopefully that helps.